Hello YouTube! And today I'm going to show you how to create another user account for Windows 7 or Vista. It works the same for both. And it's pretty simple to do. You just click start. You know, little simple thing. And go to control panel. And we'll get this screen here. Just scroll down and you're going to see user accounts. Just click it. And you're going to see this link here. Manage another account. Just click that. And right beneath all these other users, you're going to see this, create a new account. So I can click that. And you have two options, you have standard and administrator. Standard has a little bit more security. Uh, you have, there are certain files you don't have access to. In other words, you can do everything you want to do. But under administrator, uh, it's kind of like XP to a point. Uh, you don't have to have administrator rights to do anything. Uh, so I'm probably going to standard user. Uh, just for security purposes. And then just create a username. Uh, you don't have to call it temp, call it whatever you want. And then create account. And there you have it. The next time you restart or log off your current user, uh, you'll see temp there. So you click it, log in, and it'll create a um, desktop for you. And there you have it. That's how you create a new user in Windows 7 or Vista. Now let's say you wanted to delete a, um, a user in Windows 7 or Vista. Go back to Control Panel. Go all the way down to the bottom. So you see User Accounts. Click it again. And go to man um, Manage Another Account. Click the account we want to delete. In my case it's going to be Temp. And you'll see this icon right here, delete the account. So delete it. And I have two options. You can either delete the file or keep file. And the file that's asking you if you want to keep or delete are the documents, pictures, uh, application data as far as Outlook Express, email, address book, um, anything that user has done or saved under his username. You can either keep the file or delete it. Uh, if you're going to remove the account, um, obviously there's way more reason to keep the files. So let's go ahead and delete those files. And click delete account. And as you can see, it's gone. Uh, and it deleted all the files, so if I would have logged into it, it would have deleted the you know, application. We put it all the folder. Um, that's how you add and remove an account in Windows 7 or Windows 7. Thanks YouTube, have a good night, and Merry Christmas, and finally see you.